Hello again, everyone. Welcome back to Stellaris. We are playing as a piece of star hive with the ultimate goal of basically eating everything in the galaxy. Um, one thing that I'm a little bit uh, wary of is these guys getting a little bit too close. On the other hand, uh, I kind of want to block them in so that they can't expand much further. The problem being that that would make them... Uh, bit more likely to declare war on me. And that's one thing that I'm a little bit worried about. Um, what I can do, actually, is build a star base here. I didn't really realize that I could do that. Um, uh, it just costs more influence the farther away you are. So I just need uh, 100 minerals. I think we'll uh, get that and uh, head over there and block these guys in to start with. I don't need to worry about these guys. They're not going to expand unless they awaken, so. There we go. We got 100 minerals. Alright, so if I build it here, that, oh, that is like all of my influence. That's a... That's a bit much. Hmm... Would it be better to leapfrog and then work my way up? Like, what about right here? Well, it's not that many uh, things. Let's see. All right, that's 337. That's 607. So that's a huge difference right there. That's 135. To what am I looking at? That's uh, only one though. Okay, it seems like it's a pretty, pretty much um, the number of systems away times the uh, the influence cost. So now I think we'll we'll have to. I think it is going to be better to uh, um, just work our way there. Uh, we'll just go up through here, and uh, that's going to be how we do it. Yeah. They're not going to expand, so I don't need to worry about this stuff up here. Okay. Okay. All right, so I got a, I got a plan there. Um, I may want to go ahead and get this colonized as well. It's a decent world, although this one is even bigger. There's a good amount of food, not much in the way of energy on it. Construction complete. Okay. All right, so let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. No, I can't get through there. So I have to go through this one. Or go around. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Hmm... Yeah, so that's why it's six. It's so much six oh seven because it's ten systems to get through there, through to there. Well, let's just uh, start working our way. I mean, if I did that, I wouldn't have enough to then block out that, and that's that's one that's thing that I want to do. Now, if I do that, then they're going to be able to, like, make claims on me and ponder attacking me. How are we actually doing relative power? <sighs> All right, let's see. That's the Zelvan. They are superior in naval capacity. Complete. Sacred Jogwala are also superior in naval capacity. Hmm. All right, well, we got deep core mining. That's good. Um... 
let's go for the cruisers. It's going to take a while, but it is cruisers. That will help our... our uh, it'll help us out uh, a fair bit. Construction complete. Okay. Construction complete. I Research might complete. build power stations in these a lot of these empty tiles. I do need more unity, though. Habitability plus 5% is good. Growth speed or cyto-revitalization center. I was just saying that I needed more unity, although fleet support is pretty good as well. Go with the site of re revitalization. Okay. Any other really good stuff that I want? Uh, I'm probably going to colonize there, so I'm not too worried about that four. Uh, three and three with one station is good. Okay. We can lock in that uh, 12 mineral system there. Oops. Don't have enough to uh, build. A size 24 continental world might be a good spot to uh, claim as well. There is Batharian, sp uh, Batharian stone. We'll see how we do on uh, spare minerals. Construction complete. Might focus on taking these systems and then um, building out these rather than stuff on my uh, home world right now. Or on my colonized worlds. Other than getting maybe getting out another colony. Although we're now down to 17 mineral uh, energy. And I think one of the reasons why we're so thin on energy. I really feel thin on energy um, with this new update. And I think the big reason is because there are no longer um, star bases around your uh, worlds in which the, like, the very first thing that you build are solar panel networks. So right now, that's nine energy that I'm missing out on, basically. You know, because uh, these are still taking energy. I'm not sure exactly how much, but... I do really feel like that's um, that's part of it. And speaking of, let's get that. Construction complete. Now I don't think that these star bases, the outposts, actually take um, energy. Uh, I do kind of wish that they would, gr you know gather whatever the star has. I kind of feel like they should double. You know, do do a little bit of double duty there. Okay, as soon as I get a bit more in terms of minerals, I will get this built. that up. There we go. Okay. Uh, there are two fours in here. I might go grab those as well. Those make good uh, good uses. Oh, I am colonizing. I don't remember colonizing. Now, nope. it's a new recording session, so Well, actually, that reminds me. Uh, I was so eager to get back into the game that uh, I had some uh, leaders to name. Okay. I'm not sure if uh, James is watching right now, so 
you get to be Madrell Cortis. There we go. And let's see, I have a couple scientists. What are you? What are you doing? Why do I have a spare scientist here? Am I doing anything? Nope. Avoid craft. I thought that was a blue one. I thought that was a... Huh. Well, whatever. That must be a change. Alright. Uh, so, leaders. Since you're currently commanding... You get to be... Legion of Rome. Welcome to the Collective. And you get to be... Roseholm Jensen. Welcome to the Collective. And for Governor... You can be Mad Martin. All right, I think I will recruit a general. I don't usually do this, but I did have a couple requests. Um, so we've got uh, Butcher, Army Damage, Collateral Damage, plus 33%. Uh, restrained, Army Disengagement Chance, plus 20%. Collateral Damage, minus 33%. And Charismatic, Army Morale, plus 25%. I think we'll go for a Butcher. That sounds fun. And you can be... Bio Collector Alpha. Let me go ahead and put you in charge of this landing fleet. There we go. Construction complete. Now, how is my... Habitability on these worlds. 15%. So I need to get up to 20%, then I can actually take them. Because then I can actually put a, uh, a pop on there. There's not a whole lot of uh, energy here, though. That's unfortunate. What about uh, over here? Quite a bit of food here. That's pretty good. Um, that would probably be the best place for the capital. All right. Well, let's keep going. Construction complete. All right. Um, Robin, let's go ahead and move you up here. Oh, shoot. I can't get through there yet. I'm going to have to go around. Um, well... They expanded there. That's annoying. Five. That's still too much. Um, hmm. Well, I can then expand out this way and at least block them off right here, if not get up here. We'll see how it goes. We will need more influence before we can do much with that, though. That's going to hold us off on uh, expansion for a bit. Building a new home. 
All right, we got our uh, next colony underway. Unemployed pop. Let's definitely get you working on, well, let's get you working on an autochthon monument. How's that? There's Batharian stone in that world. That's pretty nice. All right, well, I'm getting four influence, which isn't too bad. I want to go ahead and upgrade that. We're okay on minerals. It's the power that I'm worried about. I want to I want to make sure that I'm always staying positive on that. Research complete. That is a big, big uh, Leviathan fleet. Improved assist research. That's pretty good. Um, energy Nexus. Let's focus on some weapons. Let's make sure that our uh, fleets are pretty good. I can upgrade. I can also get some more into you. I might want to focus on getting some of the uh, the tech to increase my uh, naval capacity as well. I don't have the Starhold technology yet. So the main reason why I'm keeping this is because... Um, Anyone who decides to... Ah, oh, Okay, so they're they're pushing out. Alright. They're doing it there. Alright, well... Let's at least take this stuff. They can't get through here. They can't get through here. So they may take these. They've closed their borders to the Zelvan nation, so they may end up hating each other. They do have a Cassus Belli. Claim and animosity. Okay. All right, so these guys may may start fighting each other. That's not bad. We might be able to take advantage of that. New frontiers established. All right, we got our new uh, new colony set up. Um, I got enough uh, energy that I think that I can just go ahead and clear all of these. Not worry about that. And we'll just let you uh, grow and expand. Well, let's also start working on a gene clinic there. Okay. Whoops. All right, ship designer. Why do I have two of you? I don't know. Whatever. Okay, auxiliary fire control. By installing an auxiliary fire control system, our ships can afford to make more advanced calculations, increasing accuracy. Chance to hit plus five. So that's a new auxiliary item. What does this do? Fire rate plus five percent. Tracking plus ten. Hmm. It's not bad, but I think we need the uh, the reactor here.
minus 50% shield damage on lasers. And coil guns are minus 50% armor damage. But this is 100 plus 100% to each. <clears throat> Lasers do a lot of damage. Disruptors don't. Alright, well. That's probably okay. Uh, Corvette. But rather than one of those, let's get on that. There we go. Alright. We'll see how that goes. Ships upgraded. Construction complete. Not sure why you're going back to uh, upgrade, but whatever. All right, blot out the stars. Starbase capacity increased by plus two. Okay. And that allows us to get uh, core sector systems by two. And we have an ascension perk. All right, so I normally prefer to go for technological ascendancy. Uh, research speed plus 10%. Uh, the Colossus Project is something that we will want to go for eventually as well. And I do like the uh, um, the evolution ones uh, that give gene modification points when playing as a... Uh, um, uh, a ravenous hive. Uh, galactic Force Projection... Let's see, let's actually take a look at some of what these others uh, have updated. Galactic Force proje uh, Projection is... Uh, naval capacity plus 80 and fleet command limit plus 20. Defender of the Galaxy is 50% uh, extra damage to endgame crises factions. Everyone's opinion plus 20. Eternal Vigilance, 25% starbase damage, 25% defense platform damage, and plus 5 defense platforms. Uh, Galactic Contender, 33% damage to uh, fallen empires and awakened empires. Voidborn, Habitat. Uh, which requires the Star Fortress technology instead of uh, um, the, well, the Fortress technology, I guess. Circle of Life, uh, Ringworld, that looks about the same. Master Builders, uh, I think that's about the same as well. Galactic Wonders, yeah, those don't appear to have changed. Uh, world Shaper, terraforming cost minus 25% and allows us to terraform worlds into Gaia planets. So you have to take this now to get Gaia worlds um, rather than just getting a technology. Transcendence, uh, all members of our species will unlock the their full psionic potential. Mind over matter. Yeah, I don't think either of these have changed. Synthetic evolution... Robot upkeep minus 20%, uh, 10%. Yeah, those I think are the same. Evolutionary mastery, I think these are the same. Engineered evolution. Yeah, I think those are both the same. So the Colossus Project. The Colossus Project is where fever dreams of terror and deterrence meet. A vision of the biggest ship carrying a weapon capable of devastating entire worlds. Issue special project, Colossus Project. Completing the Colossus Project unlocks the Colossus ship type that can be armed with planet killer weapons. Has the Titans technology. Requires three other ascension perks to be selected first. Okay. Executive Vigor. Edict duration plus 100%. That's actually not a bad thing when, when they cost like 300 and, you know, 2 to 300 influence and currently are lasting like 11 years, 12 years, something like that. Imperial Prerogative, Core Sector Systems plus 5. So let's see, the things that we definitely want. Engineered Evolution and Evolutionary Mastery, for sure. So that's 2. Colossus Project, 3. Alright, um, most of these others, I think it's going to be kind of a... Depends on where we are. where we are. I will probably want Imperial Prerogative. Executive Vigor might be good. Um, 
Let's see, Enigmatic Engineering, Sensor Range plus two. Our technology and engineering is too arcane for others to reverse engineer. It's actually kind of neat. Uh, no one else can gain anything for from battles with us. Interstell Interstellar Dominion, the stars beckon and we follow. Uh, Starbase Influence Cost, minus 20%. Claim Influence Cost, minus 20%. So half of that doesn't do anything to me. Uh, the Starbase Influence Cost isn't so, you know, is actually pretty good, but I think we're okay right now. Because uh, pretty soon we're probably going to be hitting a point where we're not going to be doing a whole lot of uh, uh, Starbase building. We're going to have to build up our uh, home systems and then go out, go to war. So I think we will go for Technological Ascendancy right now. Okay, so we'll get uh, Research Speed plus 10%. Uh, clear Blocker Cost reduced by 25%. Um, Governor Level Cap, Empire Leader Capacity. Eating Alien Pops provides unity, does not apply to robots. That might be good. Uh, Starbase Hull Points and Defense Army Health. Purge to pop resource output increased by 50%. That's also good. Resettlement cost reduced by 50%. That's good. So these are re this is actually really good for us. Prosperity. Not much has changed with this. Synchronicity. I don't think a whole lot has changed here. That is pop growth speed and getting influence, uh, adaptability, food output by 20%, uh, food consumption reduced by 15%, gene modification points, unity output increased by 5% per different planet class you've colonized, habitability increased by 10%, that's good. Terraforming cost. Getting all of that gives farm has farms produce one mineral. That I really like. That's a good amount, a good way to get a lot more minerals. Uh, shipyard build speed and ship upgrade cost. Fleet command limit, fire rate, starbase capacity, unity output increased by ten percent. Just flat out army damage. Hmm. Well, I don't know that we need this right now. That'll help more later. I do really want to get this uh, farms producing one mineral. That's not going to do us any good right now. Gene modifications, modification points aren't going to do anything for a little while. Food output... That habitability of 10%, though, could be good. We could immediately start eating those pops in our space. I don't know that I'm going to be doing a whole lot of terraforming, especially if I get uh, unity output by 5% for different planet classes. Um, I think we'll go for prosperity, just because this will decrease our... Um, you know, building upkeep and ship upkeep, which is going to make a, a bit of difference. Shipyard build cost and building build cost reduced by 15% is rather nice. And then consumer goods uh, are reduced. So, yeah. Let's go ahead and, uh, and go for prosperity next, unless something comes up that uh, changes things. Let's see, you're going back there. Well, and then in this case, let's start filling out some of these other things. Let's go grab this one. Let's get more unity. You're going to grow into that food there. Okay. 
All right, not too bad. Construction complete. Hopefully these guys go to war. Yeah, they're expanding out this way. Uh, let's see. Starbase capacity plus two would be nice. Don't need the core sector systems right now. Hydroponics farm, that's just going to cost me more energy at the moment. I'm positive on food. Let's get the defense army because it's kind of there. Um... How much does would that be? 405. Let's wait until we get that, because they're not going to get to this one in time, I don't think. Construction complete. Uh, if you queue up, uh, it. If you queue up this one while building this one, you're still paying the current price for this, even if you you know even if you build it after this one finishes. So it's not a good idea to queue up like that. I have found, and we've got rogue drone rating in there. I guess you're not going to get uh, upgraded just yet. Unfortunately, we were all the way over there. I'm not sure why they went back there. I guess because you have to go to the, uh, the shipyard to upgrade, perhaps? That might be it. Okay. Yep, they built there. Alright, let's go, let's go lock this one in. It's only 202 now. Yeah, so I basically saved half the, uh, the cost there. Because I want to get this, I want to get all of this space. Okay, let's get you with more energy. That can be upgraded. That can be upgraded. That can be upgraded. There we go. Construction complete. Well, let's see about uh, filling out some of our, you know, like doing backfill on uh, some of the good uh, mining stations and things that we can build. Uh, we've got two fours in here, so let's definitely get those. There we go. Down here. Yeah, we're not going to be uh, colonizing that anytime soon, so we can definitely do that. That's Savannah. That is also Savannah. Okay. Construction complete. I should probably uh, make sure that I'm doing um, the aggressive, uh, you know, uh, study of these guys. I need to. I need to get that. You know what? Let's build another construction ship. That's good. Alright, and uh, when we come back in the next episode, uh, we will go ahead and uh, continue trying to lock this uh, space down. Uh, I'm not sure that we're going to be able to get, over, get around here. Uh, those two systems are really good, so is that one, but I'm not sure that we're going to be able to get in there and grab those before they do. Although, once I get this, then I can push in here, so it's not so bad. Alright, but that will be next time. See you then, everyone.